We've all seen the title and we've all seen the thumbnail already, so let's get this part out of the way quickly as it is relevant to the story. Just recently, we started changing up the way that we were hunting red deer and we began to leave the level 2s and 3s on the map in their herds and not actually shoot them. Pretty quickly after that, we had a level 9 spawn and I went ahead and took that out, thinking that it would be a part of any other red deer video later this week. As I claimed it, I thought it was perhaps evidence that what we were doing was working. Little did I know at the time, it would be the last diamond we'd get on this grind and just one run later, we'd finally see what we were after. I can't believe it. 258 to 267 estimate. That 225 to 260 weight I've been waiting to see for so long. A great one red deer out in front of us across the river in the weirdest spot. I've kind of changed what I wanted to do. I want to take him with the hawk edge bow. I had an idea months back to maybe try to do like a spot and stock longbow kill. That's been done. And I just think if we use the hawk edge bow is what we took the great one whitetail with literally almost two years ago now. It just would kind of be fitting and it also could basically set a precedent that that can be our great one weapon going forward so now we have a pretty long run to make to get kind of close we might still try spot and side we'll kind of see where he's at i don't understand a run track i thought maybe he just left our waypoint was down there I mean, we came in so slow. Unless he moved and wasn't where we saw him from, I don't get how he spooked. And now, the wind could not be worse. It is 9.51. There's still time for him to try to go back. I just, with this wind, I don't know if we can make it happen but if he's trying to get back maybe we can set up on him well so much for setting up on him he got around us but that is a sight that i've been waiting to see for myself since sometime in november i've seen countless screenshots probably hundreds by now in the community, so many different great ones posted, and I just, I wondered when I'd get to see it, you know, in person, and this isn't what I expected. I didn't expect to be tracking and trying to ambush him in the way that we are, but now, the wind is good. We're pretty well set up to do exactly what we set out to do. We just need to get in range. There will never be a way to fully convey just how nervous I am. I guess it is just the the amount of time, the 5,600 kills. The thought that this is what it's all led up to and now we have to make that shot. But I am from memory way more nervous right now than I ever was with that whitetail. And I think it is just the, the difference in time and, and kill total, but that's not a good sound. Mating calls generally happen when they're traveling from zone to zone. It's 10.06. I don't know. This zone ends at 10. Nervous animals don't leave their zone until they are stopping the nervous state and going back to calm. That spooking him may save us. I don't know exactly where he is. I thought he was right. Is that him? Oh, he's right there. Look at that. Just majestic. I can we get just to our right? There's there's a path well within 20 meters if we can get into this brush. I mean, it can't be overstated just how much bigger these guys look in person than they do in any screenshot. I mean, that is incredible. There's so much mass up top. 
I don't think I want to push this any closer, especially not given the fact that he could just up and leave. We're fully hidden. I think we might just go for the next shot. If we miss it, we're going to try to put it in a spot where it'll be a lung with that bow penetration. Kind of out. I don't love it. If we can get to the end of this limb, maybe? My goodness, 17 meters. High in the neck. That is the goal. I want to have him spotted ideally, just in case anything goes wrong. Let's do it. Yes! I... Oh. My goodness. It just felt like it was never going to end. Of all places along the river, I want you guys to understand. When I made the plan to, to spot and stock for this, for this deer that unknowingly at the time was more than four months away, the neck shot and the attempted drop shot was my goal because of the montage. I've loved trying to drop trophy animals because of that. Let's make sure we didn't mess it up. 263. Great one, Red Deer. Shot through the neck and into the lung had we missed that neck shot. Oh my god. It truly felt never ending. It felt like it wasn't going to happen. I forgot to. Man, that's a bummer. There's music that plays. When you shoot a great one. I have music off in Call of the Wild because videos and, and streams, the, the two different musics meshing bothers me, but 263.73, I'm shaking more than any of these leaves stuck in his antlers ever have in the wind. I can't believe it. It's Wednesday night, it's 11.30, that took quite some time to make it happen. Just earlier tonight on stream, I was talking about maybe doing what I was calling a Red Deer Week, just every day, streaming and recording Red Deer to get to this point. And it happened without it. Unbelievable. This is the moment. This is it. We've been waiting since November to put this guy in the lodge. It is time to go and do it. In December, I shot my biggest whitetail buck ever. It was 171 and 3 8 inches, Boone and Crockett score, and I can honestly say I'm shaking about as bad as that, and I don't know what that says, but this is the moment that we've been trying to work up towards. 263.7. He's not our highest scoring register. We have a couple of diamonds bigger than that, but he is most certainly the most majestic. I... I can't believe it. That's, that's all I can say. We finally switched something up. Did that make the difference? I have no idea. It happened so quickly after that, I wouldn't be surprised if it was going to happen regardless, but... A long 5,600 kills. And the quest is finally, finally over. I think, in all likelihood, this video is going to come out before the weekend. There's probably going to be an emergency switch of videos. There was supposed to be a beginner series video... Probably today, I think I'm going to try to get this video up on Thursday, because this is too special not to share. I just can't believe it happened, and I have to thank Kyla for the help with the grinds. We had a lot of multiplayer grinds. In fact, she was going to help me tonight, but I was in single player for this, and I'm glad I was. It just... I don't even know if I would have checked the river. Sometimes I don't, but... What a day to check it. That is... Incredible. I don't even know what we're going to start doing on like Tuesdays. That's been our Red Deer day for months. And finally, as we've been expecting to do for so long now, walking through our Red Deer Lodge one last time, 25 diamonds, 
14 rare stags, and a number of rare hinds that we got, simply from making accidental shots where we would hit a hind and ending up getting a hind that respawned as a rare. Also in here, by the way, is one minimum weight stag back there in the back. A couple of gold rares, I think we ended up having three gold piebalds. This one being our biggest rare red deer ever at 236. This one over here being an uneven mythical. And towards the back of the lodge, we have the other pretty even gold piebald. But there in the back, it's amazing to see it from a distance because this is a pretty nice sized diamond at 264. It just does not compare to the great one. And to finally place it in this lodge, even momentarily, is the culmination of so many hours. So many more hours than what went into the white dog grinds. We passed by our piebald gold number three. Just amazing. And I don't know what I'm going to do with the remainder of this lodge. Obviously, this guy will reside in our main lodge permanently. And there's a couple of, obviously, the rares and some of the biggest diamonds that we'll put in the main lodge as well. And I don't know, I might leave the rest of it up just kind of as a reminder. Maybe one day, because there is a limit on how many trophy lodges you can create, I may actually end up taking them out. And who knows, maybe they can end up going somewhere in our second lodge or something. But that is more or less the end of this video. Uh, if you're interested, having had eh, close to 10 hours to kind of reflect on it, um, admittedly most being sleeping, I thought back to the diamond that we shot before the Great One, and it's so funny it happened that way because that is kind of what happened with the Great One Whitetail, though in a slightly different way. Had that diamond not shown up, I don't know if you'd be watching this video right now, not because I wouldn't have found the Great One, but because it was only a couple hours after my Twitch stream had ended. Just because of the way that I have OBS set up for recording, what could have happened would have been that I would have been set up for streaming and I, it would have been recorded in the wrong format. And I have no idea if the video quality would have been good or what would have happened. Obviously, at this point, 25 diamonds in, seeing a level 9 didn't really phase me, so I switched everything over and we were good to go for when the Great One showed up. But knowing how flustered I was, when it showed up, and I genuinely thought it was a big rare when I saw it across the river. I feel like that's not normally people's kind of experience with it because he was side on though, and I could see that white from the fable spotted from a distance. I really thought it was, was a big rare, but genuinely I, I, that could have gone horribly wrong if not for the diamond. And I wish that I had been able to record my initial reaction because, you know, it's always cooler like that. I thought the great one whitetail having the initial reaction because it rained by was very neat, but still in the in the stock and in trying to get close i felt like the adrenaline and everything was right up there maybe above the white hill because of the lack of calling and the fact that we had to be the ones to move and actually get into range but it's just as i said i don't even know what i'm gonna do i really really don't this has been the primary focus in call the wild anytime that i have free time and now we're going to have to move on to something else. There are a number of trophies we don't have, obviously. Maybe I can try to get revenge for the piebald gator mess up from a stream a couple of months back. We'll have to determine something to start to work on, but it's a crazy lodge. But all worth it for the result back there in the back. So on that note, that is now officially going to do it. So thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.